pick up your camera and get outdoors and start living. Hey guys, Greg here from Destination Collective here with another video for you. This one's a bit more spontaneous, but I just wanted to share with you a little adventure that Eva and I went on just to a local part of the Peak District. And essentially this video is about just enjoying the process of photography and just being spontaneous with it and seeing what you can capture. This isn't what I'd normally use this microphone for, the Zoom H6, but my Instamic little microphone that I normally use is not working. So bear with me as I hold this brick of a thing with me in today's video. Now there's something I wanna show you. This is a book for dog walks in the Peak District. <laughs> and we moved to Buxton oh, about five months or so ago now and as you may or may not be aware the Peak District is a beautiful place and there's so many walks on offer but we didn't know where to go and we came across this book in one of the shops nearby what's it called Countryside Dog Walks and it's just about all of the best dog walks in the Peak District so we bought it and we thought although we don't have a dog we'll explore the area and um, it's got nice little images throughout this book and we got inspired to go to a place called Monsal Dale. I don't know if you can see that. There's some beautiful waterfalls in there and also a really nice bridge. Check that out. So yeah, I was flicking through this book. It was the weekend, we've been working all week and it was Sunday and I said to Eva, come on, let's just go for a walk. Let's go for an adventure. Let's take the cameras with us. There's no pressure, there's no client work and let's just go have fun and create some content and let's continue to see what the Peak District has on offer. And I have a Sony 70-200 f2.8 G Master lens. That is a word for all. And I would say I haven't really used it an awful lot. My go-to lens is the Sony f2.8 24-70. So I said to Eva, I really fancy trying out this 70-200 lens and just taking some nice outdoor photography. I thought we'd seen in the book those beautiful waterfalls and we saw that beautiful bridge. And in general, it just looked like it was going to be a really nice landscape. So... I challenged myself to take just the Sony 70-200 lens and immediately this is what I love about having a camera on me on these adventures because we crossed the road, walked down the first verge, crossed over a gate and there was a few cows just blocking the route that we were meant to go down. And these cows are humongous. But nonetheless, I got the camera out and I thought, oh, what an opportunity. Let's grab some pictures of these cows. There were a couple off to the side, sort of within the trees because the weather wasn't great and it was raining, which was pretty annoying, I'm not going to lie. But there was another cow that was walking right down the footpath towards us and it was massive. Uh, so that was pretty intimidating. I know, I probably should have just made myself big or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm just not used to those situations. And I know Eva was certainly a bit scared. But uh, anyhow, got some pictures of the cows. And we continued on our lovely little walk. Eva didn't fancy being on camera uh, for this particular weekend, for this YouTube video. So she volunteered to do some filming and she captured this lovely b-roll um, of myself out on this adventure and as you can see we had a lovely river that ran through alongside us um, lots of greenery lots of hills um, honestly guys if you've not been to the peak district then put it on your bucket list because it is stunning so in this particular image the cows have just been walking down the river it's very shallow water and uh, they just went up the verge and uh, just started walking across the grass there um, so I believe I was zoomed fully in on my 70 to 200 and and to make this image a bit more appealing what I looked to do was well, as you can see there's a bit of greenery on the left hand side of the image I just wanted something in the foreground to help give that image a bit of depth and yeah I think it's quite a nice image you can see the cows are sort of central within the image um, you've also got a nice contrast between the the dark greens of the trees behind the cows 
and then the lighter green of the grass and you've got some different colors of cows there so you know while i'm not an expert on cow photography by any means i just wanted to explain my reasoning behind taking that photo and why i think it's quite a nice photo with all these images um, if you want to see a video on how i edit these photos then of course do let me know um, but what i've done is i've put a slight uh, blue um, teal in the shadows and I put a little bit of orange in the highlights and as you can see I like my images to have a fair bit of contrast and I tend to lower my saturation as well in the greens but yeah that's my first image of these cows and let me know what you think and I thought I'd let you know guys that I'm very much the videographer out of Eva and I you know she is the photographer she is excellent she has a lot more experience than I do but I just wanted to hone in really why I wanted to make this video and it's just to I think as creators we can easily get caught up with thinking that what we need to make is perfect and what we need to make needs to be perfectly planned and of course if it's for a client shoot then yes you do have to put in so much preparation and make sure you tick all those things that the client wants nonetheless if it's not a client shoot then i really want to just bring home that it's important to enjoy the process guys it's important to not get caught up on making these images perfect you know just challenge yourself like i did pack one camera pack one lens go for a hike go exploring and see what you can come up with i never knew there was going to be cows at this particular place but i've really enjoyed myself really enjoyed taking photos of them and i think they're pretty nice photos and that just wouldn't have happened if i didn't take my camera out if i wasn't spontaneous if i tried to just plan something it would have been a bit stressful on my day off at the weekend so if there's one message i want to get across to you in this video guys is don't forget to have fun. I film a lot of freelance uh, sort of corporate stuff and it's quite easy to just get into a routine of filming that kind of stuff or photographing that kind of stuff. But just follow your passions. Remember why you picked up the camera. Go and do something you love to do, whether it's taking pictures of cars or whether it's street photography. In my case, it's the outdoors regardless of weather conditions guys regardless of if you've got a client or not just take your camera outside challenge yourself edit some photos and by doing that not only will you become a better photographer but you'll also build up a portfolio in the things that you love to capture which ultimately is only going to help you get work within that field right what is the next image that i took Ah, the waterfalls themselves. I don't know about you, but when you think of the UK, you don't really associate the UK with waterfalls. You might think of places like Indonesia or the Philippines or Dominican Republic. But when you actually look into it, we have some beautiful waterfalls in the UK. Now, these aren't the most spectacular waterfalls I've seen, but nonetheless, they're still absolutely beautiful. And what I did was you can see in this photo that Eva took, there's a little narrow bridge there and it was sort of at the perfect distance for me and my 70-200 lens. And yeah, I just took a um, landscape shot of these waterfalls. And again, like I did with all of these photos, I put a bit of blue shadow in there, um, a bit of orange in the highlights. I think that I framed that pretty well. Um, I like the uh, how blue sort of pops from the green. Uh, the greenery around it and of course you've got the white in the waterfalls which just you have that nice kind of balance between black and white in that image and yeah that's that's that photo which I was really proud to get because it was only the day before where Eva and I just sort of spontaneously decided to go on this walk uh, after being inspired because I saw them waterfalls and here we are less than 24 hours later and now I've got myself a nice photo now as you can see on the majority of this walk my camera was actually in my camera bag because it was raining fairly heavily and i'm a bit sort of anal about getting my camera gear 
wet. I just would rather not. I know these cameras say splash proof, but I don't really like taking that risk of getting it wet. And because it was raining, Eva kind of wanted to turn back and head back towards the car. And I didn't know where this bridge was, but I just felt in my instincts that it was close to the waterfalls. So I said to Eva, come on, let's just walk for another five minutes and see if we can come across it. And we walked for two minutes and it was just around the corner and I was so psyched, so happy to see that bridge. And this is one of the images that I got. I just think with the architecture with the bridge and the different colors that you can see there uh, in those trees, the yellows and the greens, and just the, the nice shadow underneath the bridge that you can see there, as well as just the composition as well, you know, the, the, the line going across of the bridge and then they're just the nice sort of uh, cylinder-like shapes underneath the bridge. Just thought it made for quite a good image and I'm really happy with that and I'm so uh, thankful that Eva did allow us to carry on walking for a few more minutes because, yeah, got to take another pretty nice photo. So just trust your instincts. And then we did decide to make our way back and of course we stumbled upon some more cows. There was a moment where this one particular cow was sort of just by the edge of the path and it sort of had its bum towards us. Um, but I was thinking, oh, please turn your head round, please turn your head round towards the camera. And I just waited. I waited only for about 30 seconds. And there you go. It just turned its head round at the camera and I was in prime position to take a few snaps. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, it just, it had a sort of curious nature, this particular cow about it. And uh, yeah, I'm so glad that it looked around because I got that snap and um, yeah, used that same uh, sort of preset that I developed for those other uh, images that you've already seen. Uh, again, with the blue and the orange. And I just like how this cow is center of frame. I did uh, use um, some tools within Lightroom just to sort of brighten up the cow itself because um, its face was a bit in the shadows so I brought the brightness up on that bit. Images like this just help remind me of the awesome adventures that Eva and I have been on. Yeah I'll always look back on that day with a fond memory and yeah it's it's the same cow I believe actually he uh, he or she carried on walking a bit further up the path and that was the route that we had to go to get back to the car so um, he just moved over to one side and was just sort of curiously looking at us uh, so I just snapped away um, again on the 70 to 200 Sony lens so that's it guys yeah of course I probably took hundreds of photos on that trip but uh, those were my select few that I thought I would share with you I've been Greg Stocks from Destination Collective I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you have done. And I wanna give a shout out to my mum, to Paul, my uncle, and my nan and granddad, who I only recently found out have been tuning in to every single one of these videos. So I know you're watching, so hi, and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you're into photography, videography, and if you're into outdoor living and travel, that's essentially what we're all about. We are Destination Collective. It's me, uh, Greg and Eva, who appears in some of our videos as well. We're developing our own business in creating video and photo content for travel and outdoor brands. That's what Destination Collective is all about. And we just love giving value in terms of sharing our experiences and just educating people like yourself um, because we get a real kick out of helping people. So I encourage you to explore, to pick up your camera. Definitely check out the Peak Districts if you're in the UK. It's well worth a visit. Um, have fun, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.